Quad 6-6, uh, totally a premature video here, but I flew a couple packs, I got excited, and I felt like talking about it. Um, haven't been talking uh, much about stuff for a while now, and I kind of feel like doing some talking. So, this is going to be a ramble, uh, no firm conclusions, but some definite impressions. So, what I've been looking at is, um, it's been too hot to fly 1S. The 1S boards, like when it's over 100 degrees, they just, they can't handle it. They're just too small and they don't dissipate heat. So I've been flying a lot <clears throat> on kind of this, you know, 2 to 3S build, um, you know, built up on a 120 frame, flying with, primarily with the gem fans, but also flying with, so those gem fan 3018s, but also flying with these Nazgul uh, 3020s. But, um, the first motor that I really kind of like bought specifically for this would, were these, um, so these are the Xing uh, 1202 and I forget the exact KV, 8000 KV. And these are a pretty nice motor and I spent a ton of time and tuned this um, quad really well. And for these motors, this tune is just, it's done. It's really like a spot on tune and the quad, the quad just performs remarkably well. But the motors are 1202, and I don't think that's that's just not quite enough stator height to give you the dynamic range. So this flies really well um, when you're flying tight. But if you want to throw it, if you really want to do a big punch for a second and throw it, it it just comes up a little short. It's more it flies up more than punches to some degree, um, and so it just it comes up a little bit short that way to where, you know, when I fly the 1S. <coughs> um, this handles just every bit as well and it gives up a tiny bit of punch but it's like it's almost like it, it's 1s so you get so much benefit from the simplicity of 1s that it that it makes this quad feel um although i, I really like flying this quad it, it it doesn't feel like you're accomplishing that much more um so then that brings us to other things i've tried so these motors totally overperform so these are the Skystar 1103s, and this KV, I think, yeah, that's an 8000 KV. And these motors, um, they totally overperform. Um, it's it's kind of like they're a super cheap motor, but they're they're nice and notchy, and for their size, they're super light. They're like 3.3 grams, and they fly amazingly well for what they are. But although they perform incredibly well, and they perform well on like super tiny batteries, I mean, just the really little 300 mAh and you get a really nice flight time on it. But when you're flying it, there's a little bit of just kind of like softness in the response. There's a little bit lacking in sort of that, that feel. Um, so while, you know, for like, if I'm picking like, so for example, I was just picking a motor to like race on, this actually might be a really good option um, because of how well you can like arrest motion and kind of get that like, you know, when it's under power, it's going really fast, but if you're off the throttle, it really arrests really quick, kind of air brakes, and um, so it's pretty interesting. But it's just a little lacking for me, plus these motors are very not durable, and um, so if you're okay dealing with it, it's it's a decent option, it really is, and they're really inexpensive. Granted, you order them from China, it takes forever, but they're really inexpensive, and they actually work really well. They get good performance for flying a small battery. but just not quite there so not quite fully satisfied so that brought up um, a couple other options this motor is Flywoo Robo motor I love this motor on 1S um, you know in the 11,500 kV version so this is a 1202.5 motor and um, you know with the 3 inch props that little extra diameter I think helps out and then it's got the 1202.5 so the 2.5 stator height and I think that really helps giving you a little bit of dynamic range Unfortunately, um, Flywoo, I think probably because because Rugi didn't make them in a 2S version, but um, they've got the 11,500 KV, and then these are, I think, either 5,000 or 5,500. So 5,000, yeah, 5,500 KV. And so that's not a 2S motor, that is a 3S motor. Um, and so that kind of bumps you into a different... Uh, you know kind of battery and so you know unless you have a bunch of those already it's it's kind of like a proposition to you know these these batteries aren't really 
they're not kind of the most common sort of thing, small 3S batteries um, that aren't those the long stick ones, you know, the whoop style batteries, which are apparently super terrible. But anyways, um, these were recommended uh, by the same person who recommended the 1S version. I really like the 1S version. So I thought, let me build up um, this on 3S. And so I did. I built it up on a Warpig frame, built it up with that Flywoo board, and um, I really, really like it. But I'm not 100% sure if I like it enough to go and buy a whole set of batteries. Um, so the motor that I've been looking for, the size I've been looking for is this. So this is so Pyrodro just got these in. These are Apex Racing Motors. And when you look at the package and the, the contents of um, how they pack the screws, if you look at this and you look at um, the FPV cycle motors, this is like the same packaging. And also the motor, the construction, it's got the solid um, aluminum bell. And it's got that same retaining ring, which I thought it was a thick like metal band around magnets, but it's just actually like just a ring to hold in the magnets from the bottom. Um, so yeah, that should look pretty familiar to you because I think these are I think these are made by RCN Power. I'm not 100% uh, sure about that. I don't have that like information coming from somebody, but just looking at it, I'm kind of assuming that that's probably who's making these motors. So what's kind of interesting to me about that is um, the FPV cycle motors on 1S. I've thought that these motors were just um, they're they're efficient. They're you know they they're good, but they're a little just too mellow for me. I, I like a little a little more kick to them. And so when I got these and I saw uh, this looks an awful like a lot like the RCN power. Are they going to be kind of like just a 2S version of the FPV cycle motor? I was a little like yeah. Um, but then I flew it, and so I threw it on my, so this is this old um, nameless RC board, and it's always hard when you're comparing things, So and it's totally untuned, but it's always hard when you're comparing like slightly different like boards, like I, I wish I had flywheel boards across the board, so I'm just, you know, isolating the motor differences. But anyways, flew this for a couple packs, and I flew it both on the little packs, and also uh, the big pack, so the 525. So I flew them all on 2S. And just the energy was, and, and I wanna say like, in my mind I've got this phrase that I just wanna say, but it's just like totally inappropriate. But um, the, the energy it brings is just, it's right. It's like, it's the same kind of thing where it's like you're getting the experience. Like, so on, I love these on 1S, these Flywheel Robo Motors on 1S. And, it just gives you something you're like man this was missing from my other quads and I fly this and I'm getting something I just haven't gotten elsewhere and that's my first impression for this that's only three packs in and um, I, what was kind of interesting on these little packs I've got one that's a 300 and one that's a 350 and you can see that uh, GNB labels this as a 50 slash 100 and this one is a 70 and I think the 300 is a better, better quality. But anyways, on one of these cells, I struggled to get three minutes. The other one, I got four minutes. Um, punching out, there's definitely quite a bit of sag. Um, and then I flew on the 525. I was kind of worried that it's going to be a little bit too heavy. Um, but no, it was just, it, it felt really good. It was really balanced um, and really good, really nice flight time over five minutes. Uh, without having and it, it like when you punch the the battery doesn't sag instantly so you can actually punch for a little bit and it's got a good balance of weight where when I'm flying I can I can throw it nice and far yet I can still bring it in tight it does not fly quite as well so in the tight stuff this one is just you know with these um, little 1202s on there uh, it's just a little bit more nimble. Partially, that might be the tune. I haven't I haven't tuned this at all. I just took the tune that I was using with the 1103s and just I just flew it. Checked the motors that they weren't hot and they weren't hot and just kept flying. And um, but it just brought like this this energy that I really liked. And so, anyways, I was I was excited enough about that to 
to do this video and to share it. Um, I think this weekend I'll try and like, you know, maybe spend a little time tuning things and then do some, get some DVR. But I really liked that combination. And so I wanted to, to share that um, with you. I do also, so I, I like this too. I wish I had a bunch of three cell um, packs because I really do like this combination too. It flies really well. I think part of it is I need to tune it. Um, on 3S, this this tune, I had to totally change it. So I, I really need to work on it. And, and maybe some of the like, um, this quad did not, this quad was, uh, how do you say it? It's not that it was less locked in, it's just, it requires more effort. So when you're going through um, the tight stuff like the bush slalom that I do in the back, it just requires more stick input to get it around, but then it throws real nice and it has a nice punch out. Um, I did fly it on the really big battery, so the 3S450, and it, this was just a little bit too much weight. If you're in a big space and you tune this specifically for that, it'll work. Um, but for my backyard space, when I go up to this weight, it just starts to scream too much. It's not a neighbor, it's, it stops being a neighbor friendly kind of thing. It starts getting really loud and it starts to scream too much. And plus it's a little bit hard to handle, but it's flyable. But I think if you're in a bigger area, it is a, um, it is a combination that you could go ahead, throw the bigger battery. Somebody must have just came home, the dogs are excited. Um, it is, you can throw the bigger battery on there and fly it in bigger spaces. And I think it'll fly like a bigger quad if you want it to. Um, so anyways, yeah. Um, I'm thinking, I'm going to do some more flying, but I think that this ultimately might be sort of like, you know, the format that I'm going to settle into and really work on a tune and really, and really dial that in. Um, because uh, it, it's, I think it fits and part of this too, this is like, you know, these, these 450s or 525s, these are 525s. This is like a really common battery size that you can actually get decent cells and, you know, these tend to be a little bit higher quality. And um, it works out for us too, because Ryder has his uh, flight test fixed wing. Um, we fly a little tiny trainer. And these are the cells, we fly that on 2S in the park. And so we've already got a couple of these packs. And like if I'm going ahead and buying a bunch of packs, it's kind of nice to be able to use it in different, you know, for different purposes and not have to have like a whole set of, you know, batteries for um, every single different quad, which kind of gets pretty annoying and old. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like this is pro if, if this pans out, if this 10, if this works as well as I think it's working, I'm not just fooling myself cause I got shiny, pretty new motors. Um, then I think this might be kind of like the ecosystem that, or the, I don't know what you want to call it. Maybe the ecosystem. I don't know. That I think is my favorite and, and I, for like 2S uh, versus 3S and yeah, I think I think that's for me a way forward. Um, other thing to talk about a little bit too. So these Nazgul props, I like these. These are nice props. They're a little bit pricey, pricier than the Gen fans, but they last a lot longer. Um, this prop here, so this prop actually has like probably ten plus packs on it, and you can see it's a little chewed up. But it's really not bad at all. On these gem fans, for me, the way I fly with my backyard and crashing and stuff, these sometimes these gem fans are almost sometimes like one and done. Um, like this, this prop has far fewer packs than this one, and you can see how these just get beat up. And and um, that's because of the gem fans, so they're, they're thicker in the middle, and then once you get it out to the outside, it's really thin material. These Nazguls are more like the HQ, where they stay thicker out to the outside. These are a 3020. Um, on 3S, these spin them really well. I haven't tried it yet on the 2S. I think these will handle it just fine. But um, these Nazguls, yeah, they fly really well. They fly really nice. Um, they're much more durable. They are not as efficient, which is the downside. So you definitely lose a fair bit of efficiency. I think I was flying, I was getting like 
I'm getting five-ish minutes versus four-ish minutes, something along those lines. But if you want to just put on a, and they're nice and balanced, um, no vibrations, hopefully that holds up. But if you want a prop that you just stick on there and you fly and you bash and you beat up and you don't have to worry about it and change it, check it out. The Nazgul prop, it's a really nice, really nice prop. Um, all right, it sounds like other people are home and making a ton of noise. Oh, uh, one last little bit of detail. Um, these weigh the same. I chopped the wires so that they're same length wires and they both came in at 4.4 grams. And I think I'll leave it there. Until next time, cheers.